Hello, this is Andrew, the K3CV, with a demonstration of what I've been up to lately. This board is designed for 241 to 250 gigahertz. It's based on the Indy Semiconductor TRA240-091. As you can see, there's a little lens sitting in the, the center of the board. That's the chip itself. And the lens is necessary to get the board to the, the chip to radiate correctly. Um, that's just the first prototype and it'll probably need changing. Haven't measured any of the radiation patterns so far as I've only just got the unit running. You can hear the thing keying some FM Morse coming out of an IF frequency which is somewhere close to 144.1. The reason it's not exactly on 144.1 is because of our signal source. We can't get the signal generator on exactly the right frequency, which is now times 13 to generate a signal through the diode multiplier, which is connected to the piece of hard line there, and into the board itself. So we also have a display here on the spectrum analyzer at the test point frequency, which is the RF frequency divided by 72. So that brings us up to about 3.3 gigs. So you can see the, the PLL operating there nicely at 3.3 gigs. The schematic is very similar to the previous designs on 122 and 134 gigs. The RF chip itself um, is exactly the same size, 5 by 5 millimeters. However, it has extra pins. It allows some um, monitoring of the RF power and also the temperature of the chip. As you can see up here on our display, we're getting diagnostics as usual, and we're attempting to lock the um, reference to our 10 megahertz signal there at the moment. The system is going to be built into our existing dishes, which is going to be challenging because of the even tighter tolerances required. The dishes are probably operating at their limit already so we're pushing them beyond the limit if we're expecting them to work properly at all at um, 241 gigs. So we should be operational shortly. Those two boards are to go into the dishes. Thanks for your interest and I'll keep you posted with updates.